Hello guys, welcome to another UK Car Club card review video. Today we're going to be looking at the superior brand Skull and Bones back in black and gold. Now we're focused, it looks a bit better. Looking at the top case here, it's sort of gold embossing. It's just phenomenally nice. Got the expert playing card code at the top, Skull and Bones back at the bottom. Fine quality playing cards across there, superior brand. Expert playing card code on the side, superior playing cards on the other side. Manufacturing information from the expert playing card company, New York. The back, which we'll get into, but that looks phenomenal. And I really hope the cards have the same Metalux form. JN finish. I'm not sure what that means. Poker sized. So we'll get in there and uh, have a look. Wonder if the pull tab is any good on these. Oh yeah, seems pretty fine. That's interesting. I've just literally just finished reviewing the Chris Ramsey V2s. Now this is that same style as them. You know, they look like a set. But this is like a black matte finish card with a gold embossing on it. Very very nice. Seal here has superior brand. It's quite a long flap. Quite interesting, but a bit different. The tabs seem to have been squashed a little bit by this. So in manufacture, maybe they need to rethink the shape of those tabs or the size of them. <sighs> Disappointing. I knew it was gonna be too good to be true. I mean, it's a nice gold color and it looks phenomenal. It's a really nice thin border, but it's just not that. Now these are very heavily pressed together. Like there's no movement in this at all. I wonder if that's gonna affect how they feel straight out of the deck. Have they been affected by that? How heavily they were pressed in? No, they haven't, which is a surprise to be honest. Got superior brand there, superior brand playing cards, expert playing card co on a joker. Then one where it's like a jack in the box. So that's popped out. Got superior brand ace there. Standard expert playing card company faces. I wonder what the royalty is like. Very, very standard. I mean, these are a relatively cheap deck. These pips are massive. I'm not entirely sure whether they were that big last time. I'd, uh... Are these scaling? No. I just wondered if they were getting bigger for the fewer that are on there. But they're, they're relatively the same size, to be honest. But they look massive for some reason. The deck feels very thin as well. Strange. There's no other cards with it apart from those two. Royalty is very standard. So everything is, is very standard for the Superior brand, but these I think are sold like a standard deck, but I think the back design is what's the big one on this. They need that. They need to be broken in. They've got that feel from the Expert Playing Card Company. Just like the knocks are pretty thick and quite clunky. These don't feel as nicely cut as the uh, knock ones. I don't know whether it's the way they're cut or the way they're crushed or whatever, but they just don't feel as nice. They feel right. Here's the back. I mean, you can see what I mean about being disappointed in the difference, but they're still very nice. The back design is very cool. It's a two-way back design. Incorporates skulls in all four corners. The two skulls there, cross there, and then all of this sort of tribal floral patterny work going around the outside. I mean, it is a gold coloured ink on black which does look very nice but it also doesn't look as nice as a tuck case and I think the black border really would look quite cool I think the white's quite distracting but it's not the end of the world fan looks all right wasn't quite as even they are getting a little bit clumped together but surprisingly enough they're nothing as bad as they look like when you realize how tightly they are pressed together when sealed they're starting to separate up a little bit now that I've used them I'm starting to use them slightly it's weird they've got like a right weird grip on each other Quite hard to show you really but they, they sort of they don't feel like they want to let the next one in line that go they feel nice the backs are okay very standard and it's kind of disappointing i really wanted them to be amazing you know based the tuck case is just so beautiful i expected the cards to be as as nice which is probably naive of me really i should have known this is what would happen i did i had a sneaking suspicion i i did think that this was how they were going to be but i just really hope they wouldn't yeah i don't know is there much point in spending so much more on a tuck if the cards are going to be so standardly printed having that foiling print would have been really nice or just having this in this gold would have given me a more realistic expert expectation but it's not the end of the world they're good cards i'm presuming once i've broken them in they'll handle better like a deck of Nox. but for now they're okay i'm happy enough Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time when we'll be reviewing something else. Take care.